The Bible says, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and become joined to his wife. Not many reasons, one reason. But for us to understand this one reason, we need to understand what it means for him to be joined to his wife. Now understand this. The Bible says that the two shall become one flesh, meaning they are no longer two separate individuals, but they are one. They are joined in thought, they are joined in vision, they are joined in belief. Everything of theirs is married, joined, united, combined, in agreement. Everything is one. That immediately suggests that because they are one, the one cannot feel or go through something where the other one does not know about it. I'll give you a good example with your body right now. If one part of your body is sore, your whole body is aware. Why? Because it's one body. There's communication within that body. Now, the importance of him leaving his father and his mother. Notice the Bible says father and mother because they are most important. They are the highest authority within a homestead. So the siblings are not mentioned because once you mention the father and the mother, you have taken the whole homestead into consideration. So the importance of him leaving comes in understanding that in joining his wife and starting something new with his wife, which is to form a whole new, um, you know, being just by them being merged into one you need to understand that there is a redefining of his title a redefining of his role his responsibility and whatever is expected of him meaning that as long as he is in his father and his mother's house he is serving as a son in his own house he is the head of the family meaning that the expectations on him are different his roles his responsibilities are different and unfortunately he cannot serve as both simultaneously therefore he has to outgrow the one he has to leave the one in order to become the next so a lot of men try to be both at the same time hence we see that a lot of houses are collapsing a lot of marriages are collapsing a lot of unions are collapsing because maturity comes where an individual is able to leave to stand on their own to make their own decisions a lot of times you cannot do that while you are under someone else's roof why because you are under their influence you are under their rules their governance and their laws so the biggest problem we are facing today is men no longer leave 